Grand Theft Auto 6 just got another huge leak, and this is probably the biggest one we've ever saw. Hey, how's it going guys? Dalton here with another video on the YouTube channel, and in today's GTA 6 video, we're going to be diving into the biggest leak coming from a Rockstar Games employee. We're also going to be diving and dissecting it, kind of showing you guys what the leak is all about. It is mainly to do with how of the graphics and the weather storm and how Rage 9 is going to work with Grand Theft Auto 6, and this is coming from a user named Sonny Blythe, who is actually a Rockstar Games employee now when I saw this leak I was like hey I don't think this is really legit so I went on the Sonny Blythe's profile and actually looked at some information it looks like he does work at Rockstar Games and I got to thinking like doesn't Rockstar Games have a policy with NDAs that you can only talk about Grand Theft Auto 6 so I didn't know how this guy did not get in trouble but looks like there's a solution to that we're gonna be diving into all that today in this video so if you guys enjoy videos like this on the channel don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. So you guys can see Sonny Blythe's page. He's a game tools programmer at Rockstar North, the University of Huddersfield of Rockstar North, and then Merrifield, England, United Kingdom. So like I said, Sonny's the main programmer for Rockstar Games North. Here is kind of his social media page, and this is kind of where the leaks transpired and where the leaks have been coming from. We also heard from Insider Test Funds to talking about what he exactly meant in his original leak, which we're going to be diving into right now. So this is where the main leak has came from. So additionally, we are focusing on finalizing, finalizing sorry, the wealth of economics particularly thunderstorms please work through 31 to 41 sets of your r9 make sure npcs behavior and activities change depending on the temperature and then we are in need to go over j and l 140 hours and verify the bugs and glitches are none to make acquaintance so yeah, that was basically the main leak that we saw that Sonny Blythe has posted. And I, once again, I won't link anything in the description just to protect, just in case Rockstar Games are going on any like massive takedown notice like they've done in previous years with the leaks. But I don't believe this one is really that real. But I'll tell you guys my opinion in that, and you guys can have a huge discussion in the comments down below about this as well. But I pretty much think that the 40 hours, 41 hours of story playthrough, that's probably correct i mean we've seen red dead redemption 2 have that long of a story and you know we've seen how big and massive that story played out and we were all kind of hoping that it would have got a massive expansion dlc now if it did then that would mean that red dead redemption 2 would have an even bigger story so their hours of gaming would be a lot longer so we could probably see something like that gta 6 i do believe that there's going to probably be 41 hours of story with jason and lucia in the leak and it also talked about the rage 9 how the thunderstorms and lightning and all the weather could possibly make an impact to grand theft auto 6 i'm just gonna break down that leak so you guys can gotta get a better understanding of why i really do think this leak is most likely fake and not real and sunny blythe like when he posted that i kind of wondered like why would rockstar games allow him to do that like if it was a major leak coming from a rockstar games programmer employee gaming journalist i honestly think that rockstar games would have saw that and told sunny to take it down immediately and then most likely bring sunny in for a big questioning asking why he disobeyed the ndas maybe even suffered a major lawsuit along the way but uh, since Rockstar Games really haven't talked about that, and since Rockstar Games really haven't put him, you know, under the chamber, letting him know that they're very mad at him for uploading and talking about that leak, I wonder if it's not even real, because if it was a real leak, Rockstar Games would kind of, you know, be on the case saying, hey, you need to take this down unless you want to keep your job. Like, this is this is uncalled for. You do not put this out there on social media. So I think more of this leak is controversial. I don't think, and I really shouldn't really believe that this leak is real or fake but i'll leave the discussion up to you guys in the comments down below but we heard from insider test funds too kind of giving us his background on what this leak could possibly mean and if it's more likely going to happen in grand theft auto 6 so this is what test funds 2 had to go on to say in such occasional observation of their names that it would be weird to have it i used initially like that yep and the npcs are less common they tend to use peds since there are 
ambient pets, scenario pets, and script pets, not to say that the term of NPCs isn't used at all, since it's used in GTA 5's build log, but I reckon the dev would be specifically refer the population, ensuring they play the right voice line. In case of that pick, and what type of generalizing testing would have been done in the early stages of covered by the previous game, and just a matter of verifying that the change behaviors match with the weather type. He also went on to mention what the description of Rage 9 and where it came anyway. Where did this Rage 9 thing come from anyway? I've ever seen it being referenced anywhere. A miscursulation of trying and packing file version as a version of the engine, much like RDR 2's version, is the RPF 8. GTA 6 could very much be an RPF 9. But what is not tied to the engine, it would just be a new file format. So yeah, what TezFunds2 goes on to say there is most likely it's a miscaloration and the tying of the brand new Rage 9, it really doesn't exist in TezFunds2 and he really has never heard of it before. But he also went on to say it could tie in with Grand Theft Auto 6 and it could be a new filing system. Most likely what Rockstar Games are working on, it's going to be a whole brand new game. So I imagine all the, you know, technology, all the sources and everything Rockstar Rockstar Games are going to be using in their Grand Theft Auto 6 game is most likely going to be a controversial thing, which most likely is going to be new filing systems. So we could see some new stuff, we could see some weather patterns, and we could see the change of weather. We know that Florida is most likely going to have hurricanes, as we know that's what it is in real life. So I do believe kind of like the weather hurricanes part, but the new Rage engine and files, I most likely think that's all just something to get us all excited about. And I I really don't believe this leak at all but you guys can of course let me know in the comments down below do you guys believe this leak do you think it's real do you think it's fake i mean i'd like to love i'd love to hear from you guys down there because we know this leak came from a Rockstar Games employee, but we really don't know the details on what Grand Theft Auto 6 is most likely going to use with their weather system pattern, but we can get a good idea that hurricanes and weather thunderstorms, we've seen those in the past with GTA 5 games, so most likely that is all going to make a big return. Uh, also, GTA 6 is probably going to be mostly story-driven anyway, so the game is going to play as normal, but... At least we kind of get a good idea of what Rage 9 is. It's a new filing system. At least we kind of get a good idea of what Rockstar Games are really up to with Grand Theft Auto 6. But once again, you guys can have this as a heavy discussion video. And you can let me know in the comments down below. Is the leak real? Is the leak fake? You guys can let me know why you think it is and what choice you pick. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos. Such as GTA 6 Rockstar Games video and all the upcoming Red Dead Redemption 2 videos that I'll be doing on my channel. Subscribe for more of those and stay happy, healthy, and well. And I'll see you guys all later on the next video.